So today I'm going to be converting my wood burning fire pit into a gas burning fire pit. I believe this is something uh, any homeowner can complete on their own as long as they have the right material available. I actually purchased a kit which came with my uh, full regulator which will tie into my propane tank. And on the other end I have a three foot hose and at the other end of the three foot hose will be my key valve. And then coming out of the key valve will be a longer hose. This one's actually 12 feet, which will be routed over to my fire pit and tied into my 90 degree fitting, which has a, about a four inch threaded pipe, which will then be connected into my uh, 24 inch burner. Uh, my burner has two rings, as you can see, a 24 inch and then an inner burner, which is probably about a 12 inch diameter. So the first step I'm gonna actually do is to drill the hole in my propane tank hideaway here. Um, using this so the propane isn't, tank isn't sitting on my patio. Uh, again, purchased this online, just like I did with the conversion kit. So I already drilled out where I wanna install the key valve. Uh, one thing to take note of is when you line up the location of the valve is to make sure it doesn't interfere with the propane tank that's sitting inside, nor will the uh, hoses that go into it and out of the valve interfere with the uh, tank. So um, I'll get started and uh, drill this out. So I already drilled out the hole for my key valve, uh, which is right here, and I already inserted the uh, mushroom head that the valve comes with. So now I will screw in the valve inside the uh, hideaway tank. As you can see here, you'll notice that there is actually a uh, direction on how the gas will flow, so just keep that in mind when you tie in the uh, hoses so you can follow the right direction in the valve. All right, and this is nice and tight, so it's not gonna have much movement uh, inside the hideaway uh, kit. You see here, propane tank fit, fits nicely. I have enough room for my two hoses to come in and out of the valve. Okay, so now I have everything set up inside my propane hideaway. So you can see the tanks here connected to the flow regulator. And then I have my first three foot hose that wraps around into my key valve here. And then my 12 foot hose, which connects to the other end of the key valve and is routed out along my patio over to my fire pit. So I will now go ahead and adjust this a little bit and snake this in between the stone and have <clears throat> the 12 foot hose come up inside the fire pit and as you'll see here on that key valve has the uh, directions of the gas on how it's going to flow and this is the three foot hose coming from the propane tank into the 12 foot hose that goes over to my um, fire pit so just one thing to keep in mind as you do your installation so I removed a part of my uh, fire pit here so I can run my gas hose into the center of it. See I have a small little gap between the bottom stones. Uh, another option would be to run the hose underground or under my patio. Uh, if I'd done that I would have dug down a few inches, put a gray PVC pipe and ran the hose through that gray PVC pipe. Um, and next year I'll probably redo my seating area here and after I do that, I will relocate my propane tank. And at that point in time, I will probably rip up some of my pavers and bury this hose uh, just to have it more concealed. So now that I got my hose ran in here, I will put back the stone and then start on the inside with bringing up uh, <clears throat> the height so I can mount my burner uh, just below the top of the fire pit. So I have all my uh, stone back in place for my fire pit. Um, as you can see in here, uh, I previously had some sand and some pavers uh, down here, raising the fire pit up a little bit. And now I'm gonna use this pea gravel to level the bottom here. And once this is level, 
I'll use a bunch of uh, pavers that I have left over and I'll raise it up. I'll probably use four of them in a circular fashion and raise it up to a few inches below the top of my fire pit and put my hardy backer board down and that backer board will be used to support both my burner and the uh, glass stone I'll have on top. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and level this out and then uh, build it up with, with a few pavers. So as you can see, I got my pavers in here. Uh, they're all nice and level with each other. So what I'm gonna do now is come back and with Hardy backer board, I'm gonna trace out this inner circle in here. And that inner circle will be used to support my burner and my uh, glass stone. And you can see it's a few inches below uh, the top of the fire pit. So it'll be the, thick, the half inch thickness of the backer board and then uh, about a little more than an inch and a half of glass stone I'll have on top of that. All right, so um, let me get the backer board template going and I'll have that cut out and placed in here in a few minutes. So now I have my template ready to go. You can see in the center here I have a screw with a string in. I measured the inside diameter of my fire pit, which is about 31 inches. So I have a measurement from the uh, center here out. 15 and a half inches which would be the radius and I'll use this string and go all around um, to make a circumference that has a uh, diameter of 31 inches and then I'll use my jigsaw and cut that out and that will be used as my support for the burner and the uh, glass stone. All right. So I have my backer board cut out sitting inside my fire pit here and I also have a one inch hole drilled out right in the center. That's going to be for my four inch threaded pipe here that will fit right inside of it. And then I have these two washers. One will go on the bottom and one will go on top and that will act like a clamp onto the back of board. On the bottom of the pipe I have my 90 degree fitting which I'll put some, uh, some tape here. And it'll sit like that and then if you remember I have my 12 inch flexible hose that's waiting underneath the backer board and now we'll tie into the fitting and then I'll put my burner on top followed by the glass and then we'll be all set. So you see I have my four inch threaded pipe inside the backer board with the top washer and on the other side I have the bottom washer and I put that um, tape on the bottom threading here to help give an airtight seal. Next I'll go ahead and insert the 90 degree fitting followed by my flexible hose that will go in here. So now I have everything connected. As you'll see here, the four inch threaded pipe coming through my backer board, the 90 degree fitting into my gas hose. So prior to putting on the burner, I'm actually going to put this end cap on here to create a closed um, line. Now turn the propane tank on and then use some soapy water and check all the connections to make sure there's no leaks. Um, if there's some leaks, I'll take it apart and make sure everything's clean, make sure it's tight. If I need to put some tape on, I will uh, re-tape the connection as needed. And hopefully everything is uh, airtight. Then I can go ahead and finish up with the burner and the stone. So I tested all my connections down inside my propane tank hideaway. So I'm going to test the connections here and make sure there's no leaks. So I have some soapy water and a little brush. And all I do is get some of that soapy water, put it on the connection. And if there is a leak, you'll see the bubbles start uh, percolating a little, a little bit more. But as it looks, it looks like all my connections are nice and tight. And I'm not going to need to uh, adjust anything. I can go ahead, turn this around, get this set inside my fire pit, and put the burners on, and then the stone, I'll be all set to go. So now I got my glass in here. I'm ready to get the fire going. 
Um, so I used two 25 pound bags of half inch glass, so 50 pounds total. I may add a little bit more, maybe another 10 pound bag. I uh, have a, a little bit of a low spot in one section that I'd like to raise up. But besides from that, I think everything is looking good. So I'll turn on the gas and we'll get this fire going. And there it is everybody, you can see, nice fire going. So right there, that's turning your wood fire pit into a uh, propane fire pit. Probably would take about, uh, about an hour. Uh, one of the most difficult parts is just cutting the uh, back of board to fit nice and snug inside the uh, fire pit. So I uh, hope this was beneficial to everybody. And uh, if you're interested, it's a pretty simple uh, task to, to complete in the uh, afternoon.